They scoop. Oh my god, they scoop. Oh my god. <laughs> I beat it. I beat the bird. Welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. And what's better than an Eldrazi? What's better than a dragon? How about the long-awaited Eldrazi dragon, Aragast, erupting Nullkite. This is nine mana for a 6-6 six, six Eldrazi dragon with a merge of eight total, two red, six other. When you cast this spell, you may exile your hand. If you do, draw three. Draw three, that's an ancestral recall on an Eldrazi dragon. You guys, exiling your hand, who cares? Flying, each spell you cast, each creature spell you cast has Emerge with Emerge cost equal to the mana cost. Emerge is a cool ability. If you didn't get to play with it when Shadows Over Innistrad Remastered came out or Eldritch Moon, uh, then what you're trying to do here is you're trying to emerge for the mana cost, which gets reduced by the cost of a creature in play that you sacrifice. For thematic purposes, it's like the the dragon popped out of the robot or the golem in the case of a solemn simulacrum, for example. And then once you play Aragast and maybe use its ability, then you, since you gave all other creatures you have emerge, can sacrifice Aragaz to get a nine mana generic reduction on any spell you cast. So I don't know, like a cityscape leveler, a sundering Titan, an Ulamog, and that pops out of the dragon. Uh, it's terrifying and flavorful but it is so explosive it is very possible to play a eldrazi dragon and an emrakul or an ulamog on the same turn as early as like i think i know it can be done turn five i've done it i think it's doable turn four with the right draw so this deck is wild it's very exciting and i really look forward to playing it for you today i am running to command fast atlanta it's probably happening at the time that you watch this but come on down if you're in the atlanta area so i'm not going to throw an outro on this video usually i do a random member shout out i didn't pull up a random member so you yeah, you specifically. You joined, right? Yeah, you who joined right now that I'm talking to. Yes, you're cool. Mesa Falcon. Ah, thank you for joining the Mesa Falcon gang. Also, don't worry about the stats. It's for fun. But I did have a pretty good record with the deck. It, 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 yeah, it, it's, it's a tough time out there. We're fighting Nadu, but this deck did fight Nadu. It has that power level. It can go over the top. So if you've ever loved Mono Red Ramp, if you've ever loved Dragons, if you've ever loved Eldrazi, if you've ever enjoyed Emerge before or think it might be for you, have I got a pile of cards for you to play in Brawl. Let's dive in. Let the Aragast nonsense begin don't get excited about the hair some of you covert go thirsters don't get excited about it it's going away as soon as i'm done with these games just need some camera worthy games kenra canny 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 no elemental blast surely that will find a target ugin's labyrinth is amazing this hand though i'm keeping because of the labyrinth but this hand is a problem. It is a big problem. However, we are like a good emerge creature away. Just give me like a three or four mana. Give me a solemn, right? And then we're playing Ulamog. Could be amazing. Null Elemental Blast, ready to rock. Show me your death rate, Shaman. I guess we could have done that with Ramanop Ruins, too. Dude, the Q is just lost today. Can't function. Is it reading too many new cards, perhaps? Halfling. Hmm. Turn two. Hey, at least they're not ramping that much this time. I accept one. Key. Let's go. 
I will take a Demonic Tutor, but will I keep it? What are the chances the Kenrit deck blows up my key? I guess I still have a Gilded Lotus if I keep that. Let's drop... Man, I want to play Ulamog. Oh, it's got to be one of the Eldrazi, and I hate that. I hate that it's one of the Eldrazi. I'm going to drop Kozilek. Oh, 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 too many Eldrazi in the opener. What can I say? I didn't think it would come to discarding one. Our opponent plays the Necrobloom. Well, I just got out of a little battle with that particular card. I hate it every minute. All right. So that thing's going to die. But first... We Demonic Tutor. Any card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 5, 9, 10, 11. This should be perfect. Good turn. Good turn. Good, good turn. Now just let me untap with two red and we get it cooking. Actually, we can just cast Ulamog. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Deal with the Colossus, but leave the Gilded Lotus and the key to the archive alone so I can mog you. Yep, that'll do. What a good time for that, too. Oh, they're going to wish they had it back when they see Ulamog, the Ceaseless Defiler. That's the other one. My bad. 2020. <laughs> what a year. Oh, my goodness. Look at, look at it all. Look at it all. Why is it a 2020? Well, I'll tell you. Because Emrakul, the promised end, is under the labyrinth. And it's plus one, plus one counters. And Annihilator X, where X is the greatest mana value among cards in exile. Emrakul is, in fact, in exile. So, Annihilator 13. You gotta stop me. You gotta wipe the board. You gotta sack two per. Okay. You gotta sack two permanents. You gotta do something. What's Emrakul actually cost right now? Sorcery, instant, artifact, creature. Nine. We can Emrakul next turn. Even if they solve this, we can Emrakul next turn. I mean, no hesitation, right? Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a monster. <laughs> um... Done. <laughs> They're done. Yes. Nah, don't please. Oh my God, this card. On the play though, Null Elemental Blast could be huge. It is probably the best card we have against them. No actual red mana, sus, but we can create it. Let's keep. Incoming. Alasaur Shepherd. Okay, can't be countered. Awesome. That was like our whole thing that we were gonna try. Uh, bird is the word. Feels bad though. Feels bad. Could have played the Transformer. Try to set up for the war. If they had played two little critters, maybe that would have made sense. I guess there is a world we war here, but then they just play Nadu, right? But maybe they don't? Maybe they're afraid of it being targeted? Yeah, I should have played the Transformer. I did save myself one damage. Are you impressed? Opponent. Okay. I think we do the land thing. 
get ready to emerge and hope to draw some real good stuff. If they do tap out here, the blast does hopefully get rid of this. Although we saw in my video, if I target it with a blast, they get a trigger. Oh, Amber, GG. Yeah, they have protection. Okay. Okay. I, we just have to try to go over it. We have to try to beat the greatest value engine in the format. Is that even a thing? Can it be done? No land drop. God, that's bad. Like, killing it will do no good if they just reveal a couple of lands. It, it, it is so meaningless to even try. Gotta do better. We have to have a big Eldrazi. Going over the top means we have to play different cards. Okay, huge. Absolutely huge. Annihilator 2, Hexproof from each color. That's... Mmm. Mmm. Like, I can play the Colossus, but I can't emerge the Breaker off of it because that is a specific cost. Okay, 11 11. Have this in the command zone to draw more cards next turn, I guess. Because that's what I need, right? I need, like, new Emrakul. That's what I need. Settle in. No attack. No reach on that thing. <laughs> but, uh, I guess we send the house. Anybody want to take one for the team? Your Allosaur Shepherd isn't doing much. Oh, you're just going to use a indestructible ability here. Okay. Giga Brain. They probably have two or three of those in the hand, so of course this makes sense. I don't think Ragavan is useful, even in the slightest. We emerge. Take action. New cards. Kozilek. The Great Distortion. Yeah? That's the one, right? Spin the wheel. Okay, we've got some counter spells in hand. A Star of Extinction. Just keep in mind, whatever we do, it is almost assured that our opponent will have ways to make Nadu indestructible. So don't get overly excited on me. As fun as it is. We have another three drop in hand to use with Kozilek. Can't be countered. Frickin'. Hmm. Who knew the can't be countered clause would be relevant? twice in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't care what anybody says anymore. The world needs counter spells. It needs them so badly.
The worm coil? Yeah, casting star seems like it won't go well. Kill my own Kozilek. Probably protect their thing. Just nothing works against them. You have to find ways to cheese them out. So we have to keep digging through our deck for the right cards. That's what we need. I mean, it's a 12-12 menace. They're taking it. Don't give a fox. Do we try the star? It'll just get countered, right? It's a big waste of time. What's better? Just keep digging? Maybe. 13. Emerge off this is just two. This hand is useless. Better Eldrazi's, please. Song Mad Treachery, Faceless Agent, Guardian Idol. We keep trying. Come on, big, big Eldrazi. Big Eldrazi. Come on. One mana that I don't have. Are you kidding me? Okay. I mean, that's real. That's very real. If I get control of their turn, I can do all kinds of mean things. I can get rid of Nadu, but not without that. And I was one mana off after all that. Did I waste my mana somewhere? I guess casting the worm coil engine I never used. What's that gonna do? I'm not an artifact. Into the flesh of the multiverse. Wait a minute, if this is out. Okay. Our strength multiplies. I've seen better plays. I've been more afraid. Please don't do that. Uh, actually, is that even bad? What are you? You're 10. Yeah, I guess we need it out there, don't we? But I can emerge it. Maybe they plan to counter it? But now they want to attack me. Okay. Maybe they're getting scared. Are you scared? Are you scared? Terror of the peaks. You might want to be scared. Emrakul, you are not lit up. Artifact, creature, land. If I discard this to make a scrapyard, that doesn't get me there. Ooh, baby. Oh, baby. Red, red, this. Off of the worm coil. Decline this time. I have a plan. <laughs> Do I go for the terror off the agent? Red, red, and then go for the emerald. Oh yeah. I mean, they'll probably counter it, but let's let's get let's get them to do something, right? Resolves. <laughs> Emra cool. The promised end. Meow? Your face. <laughs> what? Can I cast this? Doesn't have emerge anymore, so no, I cannot. I cannot cast it. I can make a 1 1 to deal 1 damage. I can play a guardian idol. They scoop. 
Oh my god, they scoop. Oh my god. <laughs> I beat it. I beat the bird. On the play, way too slow. Hmm, we have plays, but are they good? How are you not a desert? I will keep this hand. It's certainly speculative, but we get down the Shadow Spear. Then next turn, we can remove something or we can play our Archway. Then we play our Orb. Yatrog Ravenous Ride. Fast deck, dangerous. Get that halfling out of here. Too much ramp. Lumamog off the top is, let's call it expensive. All right. Give me back my dust bowl. I like having the solemn. It's one of the better cards in the deck. Opponent leaving mana up though. Hmm. Play the dust bowl they know about. Play the solemn. We do oddly need another red source for the breaker. Our opponent is harrowing. They have the new MDFC, Disciple of Freilis. Love that card. Well, they responded to my Solemn. They didn't play anything else. Gitrog time. Just punch me for six. I don't blame you. But nothing to sacrifice, nothing saddled. Can we Caldera break? No, we cannot. All right, six minus four. So four mana to emerge, two mana left over. No haste, no haste. Combat. Emerge. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I do not want to exile my hand. Decline. But I will take that draw. Devourer of Destiny. Lumamog for one, you say? Wait, how much is this? Lumamog for one. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Half your deck, please. 19, 19, 12? I see a yard. Oh, Galta. Galta, you monster. All right. <laughs> Ward is two permanents. It's a 1919. It has 12 plus one plus one counters. What you got? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing is what you got. Was that turn five? Now oh, we had to bounce the land with the archway. Oh, but we ranked with Solemn. Yeah, turn five. Say hello to my little friend. Loot! The key to everything. If I built that, it would be an extra turn stack. This hand goes kind of bananas. It's fast. We need something to emerge the Hellkite off of, and that would be great. But we have the Labyrinth. We have a lot going right. I'm gonna exile Soon Chi. Soon Chi, Su, Su Chi. Play a Transformer. Boom. Ramp. As it was meant to be done. A gate. Play you. Sacrifice you. Cook. Loot? With no other permanence. Classic loot. I bet they're running counter spells. I would not run counter spells in that deck. Signet boots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll play the boots instead of activating the gate.
We might actually end up discarding our hand to the Harrogast. The project is here. The loot has attacked. They're, they're off to a pretty slow start. Slow you down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Loot part two. If we bounce this, this no longer taps for two. It would be kind of funny if we top deck the land. Primal command. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Well, that's off the table. We're with good old stone rain here. Drop Veil of Summer and gamble. I s yeah, okay. Our opponent's a meta gamer, but they didn't draw land. Dust Bowl? I mean, let's be real. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Scooping to Dust Bowl. Nasty. Necro Bloom. Field of the Dead on a creature. God, this hand is insanely expensive. Better. <laughs> Very the exact opposite, really. Let's go for it. See what kind of trouble we can get into. Our opponent keeps a six on the play and leads with the back street. Mine off the top. Not where you want to see it. We could get it tapped now. I don't think it's worth potentially having a tap land later on a turn when we really need it, when we could just use it now. The 1-1 one, one is nice, but unnecessary. Ah, okay. This is where being on the draw is very hard. Let's go right after that Cobra. Feels weird, man. Really wanted to ramp there, but we can double ramp next turn. We have a reduction now on Harrigaz. Oh my goodness, this is just gonna be one of those games, huh? Our opponent with d two of the three landfall mana creatures in the format. That's tough, that's really tough. And a Fable Passage. Why does it have to be lands? <laughs> yeah, good turn. Let's see if we can take a good turn. Null Kite is on the menu, boys. I don't think I want to pitch my hand, though. No, I do not. Does leaving any mana up do anything? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I play the familiar, that's not enough. I have to go off the Ornithopter here. So be it. Then we turn the Null Kite into a Meteor Golem. We have to decline. Emerge. Man. <laughs> Colorless things with emerge is really sick. Take out the provisioner. I think that that's more dangerous than the commander, to be honest. And then next turn, if they don't deal with the golem, we can emerge Aragast off the golem. And maybe we do the draw three that time. Green Warden, sure. Getting crazy. Do you get an additional land? I don't think so. Okay. Well, that is a draw. That is a draw. Man, I wanted to do the draw three, but it doesn't work 
because I want to dragons fire the green warden. But this is a 6-6. Six, six. Three damage. If a revealed card is dragon damage equal to its power. I don't actually get to kill the green warden. I don't get to kill the necrobloom either. That is so nasty. All right, let's play the vista. Let's play the familiar. I believe we can. Let's crack the vista and get a waste because I think that's what we need here. Just in case. Play the familiar. A little bit of life. Can still do it. I have to have two red though. So emerge off of you. Take action. Exile hand. Draw three. Worm coil. We could play the worm coil here and now. Is that better than having the dragon out there? Honestly, I think I'm supposed to. I know that we're getting rid of this again, but. We can emerge it again. Every time we do, we draw cards. Anyway, the zombie army is getting ready. But we're spinning through our deck and trying to find giant Eldrazi's, and I feel like we will get there. Plants on plants on plants on plants. This deck is often, though, a Moonshaker Cavalry Crater Hoof Behemoth build, which I can't wait to build this, to be honest. They should not use this. They've cast a spell this turn. It just happens to be the Conduit of Worlds. So if they use this to target something, they won't be able to play it. Urza's Cave. This freaking reach, man. I kind of want my cold span dragon, but they'll just block it. It's very sad. Does the cave get a land that can actually help? I don't think so. Better to have the battlements. I think they will put a little plant friend under the bus. I haven't done the math, but can I sack the familiar here instead of my worm coil? Let's find out. I cannot. <laughs> All right. So be it. Bye bye, gold span. Three more cards, please. Nothing I can really do here. Where are my giant Eldrazi's? The zombies have been found. The opponent only has two cards in hand. Can they contain our draconic nonsense? Is a good question. Hey! What are they gonna do? Yeah, okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Can't wait to do that again. 15. <laughs> Modified to 15. So it's emerge 6 plus. Six, so it's 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I need to draw some way to make two mana. Seems unlikely. It is unlikely. Man, what a terrible sequence of draws. I guess I will seek a card. Maybe it's good. Uh, what? That's pretty good. Do I want to play it next turn? Let's get the Fable down. I think I can play it next turn. If not, much happens to my artifact friends. Although I think war is going to be declared on us soon. This looks like a group that's ready to battle. And we'll see if it's Crater Hoof time.
Pretty unfortunate. Where's the monsters? They reanimated my golem. My golem. So mean. Binding. It's fable. Okay. Is what it is. Ooh, look, zombies. They use it now? Yeah. As long as they're not making additional land drops. I mean, drawing Star of Extinction would help. With a Death Toucher and a Life Linker, they still don't have good attacks. Lightning Bolt. Not going to do me any good <laughs> at all. I don't know. I don't know. You? Still not in range? This is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, attack 14. We need fifth. We need 14 because of the emerge. Okay. Okay, I think we do it here. Trades. Cool. Opponent with no love for their zombies, by the way. Disgusting. There we go. Three new cards. Huge Eldrazi's? Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh my lord. They dredge Fable Passage. Okay. Well, they got Conduit, so digging for something good is a good idea. Nicole Monk getting back Draconic Debut. Spit Flame has never looked more weak. Really, we need to draw something better. We need something huge. And we run basically all of the huge we can find. Okay. Yeah, okay. Here we go again. tokens that's where we're at food tokens the acroan war the acroan war steal something steal something can i sack something i don't have an emerge card i need the air gas back in the graveyard you've got to be kidding me right now okay <laughs> okay 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 well, I can get their commander away from them for a minute, potentially. They don't have a way to sack either. See if the opponent wants to block with the Green Warden. Maybe that's also a steal. There's a block. Okay, we can kill the Green Warden. They can cast it again with the Conduit. It's six mana for them to do that. I think before we do that, we should deploy the key to the archive. Let's see what we hit. 
Time warp. Okay. That's something. If we untap with the key, is there any sign that we won't? I don't see a sign that we won't. Pinnacle can get it back. That's busted. Okay. In that case, let's try to give them something to target other than the key. Here's the Acroan Awar. Hand me your Green Warden. Look at me hit my land drop. See? You're not special. I can do it too. Not the life gain. Not the life gain. I'm honestly surprised they blocked with the Ancient Green Warden. Given the food machine they have, but here we are. Forcing them to attack might be ill-advised. They have 11 zombies here, but I don't think I'm quite dead. They all have death touch. So this is 22 damage. But I still have a lifelink and a death touch worm and a filigree familiar, and I can throw a green warden in front of a zombie of theirs. But then they just cast it again with the conduit. Very impressive. Okay. All their creatures have death touch. Save you. Use you. I guess if it's going to die anyway, it'll go here. Okay. Hello. That gets exciting. <laughs> we can emerge off it too. Oh my lord. What's about to happen? Oh, they go for binding. What will they choose? Will they choose the key out of fear of the hand? Or will they choose the Acroan War to get back their Green Warden? Or will they choose the Harry Ghast? They're going for the Green Warden. Cool. A pretty good move to put some bait out there, wasn't it? Are you done? Nah. We have more? Okay. Oh my god, lands. It's fine. It's fine. We play to win. May as well do this, right? In the deck. But we want the wastes because we're about to get the mountains. Bloodstain Mire. Has to get a mountain. Do we want to use this here? Before there are no mountains in the deck. Or do we hit our land drop in a different way? Will it matter? So real question. All right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're playing breaker here. So how many mountains are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Of course. Are we emerging? I don't think so. Also, why are they trying to spend my mana the way that they are trying to spend my mana? With emerge? No. Why did they leave? Okay. It's fine. Was I supposed to emerge it? That's a legitimate question, isn't it? All right, Green Warden down. Because then I have a way to sack this. Well, they don't want to kill it. So maybe this haste thing is a good move. Has trample. The plants go under this bus. Big brain. Big, big brain. All 
All right, we need to draw a giant Eldrazi now. It's been a minute. I think now is the time. Now is the time. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get there because of the food. We do have to find a way to clean up the battlefield. Don't know what that even is. Circuit Mender. And that's what we call not it. Okay. Gonna call Monk. Oh, cast with Emerge. Combat first, then. Combat first. Yeah, creatures have Emerge, not just colorless creatures. Big difference. Oh, they're going now for the Breaker. They want to give me the lands. Do ya? Volcanic Geyser is in the deck, my friends. Mendum. I want the card. It's a pilgrim's eye. <laughs> Return spell. Pilgrim's Eye. Was I supposed to emerge that to get another draw three? Maybe. My God, look at the monsters. Just draw a monster, please. We already used the gate. Let's draw with the Mind Stone. The Leveler. One, two, three, four. Yep, we can emerge this. Target. Conduit. That thing's been a problem. Draw. Field of ruin. Field of freaking ruin, huh? Do I have a way to see any more cards? No. No, I do not. One's probably going to block this. I have no way to kill my Hellkite, which means I have no way to survive against the zombies, right? How many are there? 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 times 2, 12. It's actually really close, isn't it? If I had drawn a creature... If I had drawn a creature, I really could have emerged off my own leveler. Maybe I did it all wrong. My god, the top decks were nasty. If I attack, what do I do? Do I kill the Provisioner? Can I put them on a lethal check? Eat Trample. They block with the Necrobloom. Lock three, take seven is death. So I, even if I put them on a lethal check, I still need to block one more. Which I don't have a good trick to do. Okay. Man, this sucks. In that case. Destroy up to one target non-land permanent. Oh, I can hit the Harrigaz. I should not have powered up the barons. But I think the opponent has to block it, right? Eight down to 11. One, two, three. They have to block it. It's only 17. And if I get them to block it here, I never should have activated it, to be honest, but if I get them to block it here, then I don't have to activate it on their turn, which is a huge deal. 16 minus eight, eight mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still have six available. Seven available after I play Field of Ruin. 
What a game. What a close game. Their food tokens mattered big time. But they're out of them now. The reason they have to block it, I think, is because they'd be dead to a lightning bolt. And I know that they've already seen one, but you can't assume there's no direct damage in a red deck. And that's why we're holding the Field of Ruin. Did I wear their battery out? It's possible. And they rope out and it's over. Um, Anticlimactic, but exhaustion as a win con. Man, I really wanted to see what the next three cards were. CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of Covert Go Blue, and you can find all of his unique tokens and playmats at Covert Go Blue HQ. Take to the skies with CGB's Shark token and playmat, and his premium Dragon Rider token and playmat, or become the apex predator of your next game night with his Dinosaur Rider playmat and token. CoolStuffInc.com slash CGB is your place for all things Covert Go Blue. So check it out if you want to channel your inner one in best of one. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock.